Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Title Shot Sports Pro Reflex Day. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so today I'm doing a review on the Tidal Shot Sports Reflex Stick Pro. That's right, this is the Pro model, which is uh, has a couple new features compared to the original, which we'll go over. But before we do the review, I'll give you guys a close-up of what is included from top to bottom. First is going to be the ball up top. Um, this is a smaller ball than the original. It's about 4 inches in diameter, where the original was about 5 inches in diameter. <clears throat> all the way around. So you can see the size of it is, is much smaller and what that allows is for a quicker rebound. Um, now, some of you guys may prefer the larger ball. It's completely up to you. Some may like the smaller one, a little bit more of a precise target. Next thing you'll notice is that the diameter of the stick um, is, seems to be a little bit thinner by, by a hair. Maybe that my eyes are deceiving me. And then you also have this foam collar on the Pro uh, so that protects both the stick and your hand if you land off target where the original didn't have that. So uh, that's pretty much the difference up top. I'm going to put this guy down real quick. Stay put. That doesn't fall. So you have the ball that is made of a foam ball covered with tape. That's like a duct tape. And then you also have uh, these cotton elastic covers, which are really nice. Uh, and it protects the ball as well as your hands or your gloves. And Don sells this on the Title Shot Sports website. If you need extra covers, you can get so uh, for both diameters. You can get it for the larger ball, you can get it for the smaller one. Um, so you do have this stick right here, and it gives excellent rebound. You can see here, it's, it let it, let it go. Just like any reflex ball type uh, device, whether it's a reflex stick, fierce reflex bag, double end bag, whatever it may be. So the whole idea behind it is that it's one of the very few bags, unlike this guy, that actually hits back. So when you hit it, it rebounds. Now you can work on moving your head. Um, you can also work on your footwork, stepping to the side, working your angles, whatnot, speed, timing, uh, you know, timing it, coming in. So you can get used to that, getting, getting used to the timing of it, all of the above. So you have that coming down here. You have this aluminum shaft that that connects to. You also have the lock this lock nut down here that locks to this cast metal pipe you have a phillips head adjustment screw as well as a lower pipe adjustment wing nut that you can use your hand to adjust the height um, about it at its lowest setting i would say that this bag or should i say this reflex ball um is about probably like five foot uh about five feet tall so for anybody that's about five feet and up this should be a, a really nice ball i mean technically you'd be shorter than this because you can kind of punch upwards to it too so you could technically be shorter than that um, if you want it shorter then i would recommend maybe modifying the shaft and cutting it a little bit that way you can drop it down lower but um, for the sake of just saying generally speaking i would say that it's about a five foot height uh, that it's good at and we'll, we'll we'll kind of measure it out here in a second so you have that adjustment wing nut as far as weight goes, the great thing about this is that it doesn't require a ton of weight, like the Fierce Reflex ball, the Amazon ball, ring sights, Cobra bag. All of those Cobra bags require like 150 pounds or up. And it's usually like a sand or a water filled base, or they need you to actually drill into the floor and anchor it to the floor. With these reflex, this reflex stick, it's nice because you can just get a weight. This 35 pound weight, to be honest, is probably the best in terms of weight, probably the, the lowest I would go. You could go with 25 pounds, but I find that it kind of vibrates a little bit. So 35 pounds minimum with this Olympic plate, and you can see it has reflex stick on there. Um, when you get it delivered in the mail, it's made in the USA. This is a standard uh, wooden uh, rectangular uh, piece of wood. So um, it actually comes with the screws and you, you screw it down to the base. And then from there, again, the great thing is that you have enough room to really slide any kind of weight. I mean, if you don't have an Olympic weight like I do, you can get yourself a bag and just fill it up with stuff and put it on top, a kettlebell. I mean, you can find anything really, really around the house 
and lay it there. I mean, you can have like one old 13 inch TV and just put it right there. Whatever you have, it can work. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple setup, but very effective. And I really enjoy using this thing. Let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm doing a review on the Title Shot Sports Reflex Stick Pro. This retails for $139 through the Title Shot Sports website. I'll put the link in the description box for those of you that are interested and purchasing this. Now this is going to be the second reflex stick uh, I've been using from Title Shot Sports. I have the original here, which basically I switched out. So if you do have the original, you can upgrade to get the Pro Kit like I have here, which essentially has a faster rebounding stick and a slightly smaller diameter ball on the top. It also has an SD on the collar. Um, but everything else about it is pretty much the same as the Original. Now, the best benefit and the biggest benefit of this reflex stick is for those of you that may live in an apartment, um, anywhere where you can't have a lot of noise, or you're limited on room. Uh, you can't hang a heavy bag, maybe you don't have a garage, um, maybe you only have a living room, or room you can do it in, maybe you have neighbors below you or above you, and you can make a lot of noise, they'll complain. Uh, so there's different situations, everyone has a different living situation, but this is really great. Um, for those type of situations where you need something to be quiet and you still want to get a good workout in. Um, and even if you do have a regular garage like I do, if you have a regular gym, this is a great tool. So it makes it really versatile in the fact that one, um, it's, it's quiet um, and you can pretty much bring it anywhere. It's extremely lightweight. Um, outside of having the weight on top of the bottom wooden plate, it's a very lightweight device. You can say I can just pick it up with one hand um, if I wanted to put it in my car, I could just unscrew this and detach this bottom piece right here. If I want to get my screwdriver and do that. I can detach the bottom portion, take the pole out, lay it down into the trunk or the back seat, and then I can put this bottom base in the trunk as well, and I can go wherever I want. So great for those of you that maybe are, are boxing coaches or fitness coaches that want to work on uh, boxing with your clients and just need a way to do it. Uh, without having to load around uh, heavy equipment. So it's a really good thing. Let me go ahead and put this weight back on here. Just to make sure you guys how good this thing reacts when it hit it. The rebound, should I say. So you have that, um, again, four inch diameter ball at the top. It's a foam ball covered in tape. You also have the cotton elastic sleeve, the foam. I showed you guys all the components of this. And again, <clears throat> I find the best part about this is that you're essentially getting kind of that Cobra reflex ball <clears throat> movement without the Cobra reflex ball price. Now that's regardless if you get the Fierce Reflex, um, regardless if you get uh, the Reedy Qless bag, if you get the Amazon bag, the one I did a review on, whatever, maybe the ringside one, the title one, whatever it may be, you're essentially getting that exact type of movement and defensive work that you would from those, but at a kind of a fraction of the price, to be honest with you. Except for maybe the Reedy. The Reedy one, I know that's, that's a fairly inexpensive or maybe a deal. I'm going to try that one out on a side note. Um, the only key difference is just kind of the way it feels. It doesn't have that same heavy feel that you would get with those curbo bags or the springs, but nonetheless, you still get a really good workout with this. And if the purpose of you moving your head and, and really slipping the punches and working on your defensive mechanism, then this really will help you with that. And you can see that it forces you to react and to work on your timing, to work on combinations. You can really do any kind of punch with this. It really helps you work on getting your uppercuts, your jabs in your cross, you can work on your hooks. Um, it, it having a little bit of a smaller target, or should I say smaller ball at four diameter, uh, four inches in diameter, uh, makes it a little bit harder to hit, which is a good thing. It makes you really for, focus on your form. Um, another thing is that, something I don't, I, I don't think I mentioned in previous videos, is that you've got to keep in mind to keep your technique uh, perfect. And sometimes I feel like with the reflex stick, you kind of end up getting your hands down and you kind of punch from down here, from your hips and lower, 
to set it having your hands up and throwing it. And, and I'm guilty of that too. So um, that's another thing that this will help you with is making sure that you're staying true to your fundamentals. Because I think a lot of times you really get caught up on wanting to go as fast as you can and working on your speed, then you kind of sacrifice your technique and your fundamentals for speed. So that's another thing is just working on keeping it basic and then you can start to increase from there. So again, you can work on all kinds of punches, upper cuts, hooks, straights. Going off your timing a little bit, you can see if you try to increase the, the timing of your punches, it goes along with that too. So you kind of have to adjust yourself. So there you have it. You can see that it moves awesome. It has excellent rebound. Uh, I have this thing for a couple of months now. Um, you know, if you guys have watched a lot of my videos, you'll notice that depending on the time of the year, I have some rotation of bags in here. Miles is probably my go-to. I'll rotate my bags in. I'll bring the reflex stick out and train with this. But it's definitely, honestly, probably the best option out there, um, especially for those of you that are on a budget and that need something that's mobile and quiet. I really fit that, feel that it kind of checks all those boxes off for $139. I think it's an excellent investment. Um, it has lasted a long time for me. Uh, it's meant for uh, working on your, your timing accuracy um, and your reflexes obviously and increasing your hand speed a little bit and getting getting your combinations in there um, but overall I'm totally satisfied with this device um, and I, I continue to use this uh, pretty much on a daily basis so if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this title shot sports reflex stick pro I'll see you guys later